I f***ing love construction. Yes, a couple weeks ago I did a video on the cons of construction. Cons. So if you went through that video and you thought, you know, I could deal with that. Well get ready to get real excited because today we're going to be talking about the pros of construction. I really enjoy my job in the construction industry and I just think it's such a great career to be in. So today we're going to be going over my six pros of construction. I wanted to do five but I just needed to sneak in that little bonus for you guys. And if you're new here don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see more videos of this dude in Hawaii talking about construction, personal finances and just life here in the islands. And with that let's get into the video. So pro number one, construction is very exciting. When some people think about getting a job they think about a typical nine to five where you go into the office, do the same thing every day and then go on through your life, work till you're 65, retire and then die. In construction, you're never doing the same thing every day. I don't think there's too many daily monotonous tasks that you really have to go through. I mean, think about it. You're on a construction site surrounded by cranes, heavy equipment, and you're building stuff. It's basically Legos for adults. Every day taking small steps to hit your goal of being on schedule and on budget. And you can be very creative in the way that you do that. As a general contractor, you own the means and methods of how the job gets built. So you have full control over how the job is done and how you're going to sequence and be efficient to make money. There's not a lot of jobs out there that give you that kind of creativity. And, and I mean, you can just look around you. Every single job site is different and every contractor and even team members amongst the same company have their different styles and ways of building the project. And if you haven't yet, you can see my video in the cards above to see what a day in their life looks like as an engineer in construction. You're on the go all the time. You're consistently solving problems. And there hasn't been a day yet that I've worked over the past six years that I've looked at the clock. Every time I do look at the clock, it's always like, oh, good Lord, it's already 3 p.m. and I haven't even eaten lunch yet. That's how exciting this thing is. And even if you're on a bad job, it's only temporary. You're never going to be doing the same project for your whole career. Every couple years you have a fresh start with a new team, new challenges, and new opportunities. And all of those factors make the construction industry so unique and one of the most exciting industries out there. So number two, even as an entry level engineer, you can make a big impact on the job. Even fresh out of college with no experience, you have a role in construction. If you're doing your job properly, you can really tell what kind of value you're bringing to the team. So I'll give you an example. So when I talked about pro number one about having creativity, that was in full force in one of the projects that I did. This may get a little bit technical here, but I'll try to keep it to the basics. So we were building the structure and we were having a little bit of issues. We were behind schedule and way over budget. The way that we were forming the walls and we were constructing the building, it wasn't very efficient and we were projecting a huge loss. So me as an engineer just a couple years into the business, I was able to take full responsibility of a new plan that we we're going to implement in order to be more efficient and hopefully cut the losses on the job. So me and my foreman or the guy that's working in the field got together and selected a new formwork system. I had to teach myself Revit and how to make some drawings. We came up with a new system of placing the walls, which was basically adding all the block outs for the MAP, all the anchor bolts, embeds, everything onto the wall panel before we even stood it up. And honestly, that whole effort with just me and that one guy in the field saved us probably at least two to three months off of the schedule. And if we went with the old numbers from our old ways, we probably saved the company at least $100,000. And that's only a couple years into the business. You can have a real impact. The construction industry really forces you to just get a running start, but to me that gives each individual a lot of ownership and value on the project. If you're kind of one of those people that just want to, you know, take a step back and be behind the scenes, maybe construction is not for you. But if you want to bring value to a company and you want to see your efforts produce immediate results, construction is a very good place for that. So number three, being in this industry gives you real life, very applicable knowledge. And this becomes especially true if you go into the building industry, because, you know, there's not a lot of times when you're going to be building a bridge in your house. You get to see all the different aspects of construction come together and can apply that to like your own home. So like how many people will it take to pour a little sidewalk in my driveway? How do I frame a wall for my specific door frame? How do I hit the like button and subscribe to this channel? And as you move from project to project, you'll meet some of the construction workers who, if you're, if you're good and you're helpful for them, they may even offer to help you out on anything around your house or teach you how to do things. So like I've had one of the carpenters come over and help me and my dad on a renovation that we had at one of our rental properties. He came over, helped us hang cabinets, put the countertop on, and really all we had to pay him really was just lunch. Because of that relationship you build with them in the field and if you're actually helping them out at their job, a lot of times these guys are willing to go to the end of the world for you. 
and they can also teach you how to do it yourself if you're really into that. You can see what kind of tools they use and kind of some of the tips and tricks to help them do things a lot faster. And if you get the blessing of working on a really high finish job, you get to see how some real fancy stuff gets installed. And once you work in construction and maybe you wanted to do a renovation on your home, if you don't have enough people or connections in the field, you're going to have to hire your own contractor. So having that knowledge from your awesome job will help you be able to hire a good contractor, ask the right questions and avoid having all these horrible horror stories that people have with their renovations. So being in this industry really gives you a lot of good knowledge that you can use on your own outside of work. So number four, you can get paid pretty well in this industry and you only really need a bachelor's degree to get in. And actually not even that. You don't even need like an industry specific degree to even get into construction. It's a little few and far between but it is possible. And you can even work your way up from the field and get yourself into the office as well without having a degree. And so out of college, what I've seen typically is that you're going to be making like around $50,000 minimum starting. And in Hawaii, starting salaries can go up to like $90,000 to $100,000 depending on the kind of construction that you're doing. And the companies also matter as well. From what I've seen, the higher paying salary jobs don't really have a great culture, I would say. Like I guess you're treated more as a number at those higher paying jobs and you can get moved to wherever. I would take the $10,000 less salary if you like the company culture a lot better at a different company. But still to start out you can get paid some pretty decent money without a whole lot of schooling. And honestly to be good and to move up in the industry, all you really need to do is put in effort. The amount of technical skills that I bring from college is pretty minimal. It's all effort. All of the things that I've accomplished, everything that I've learned has just been through effort and experience. You can learn everything you need to know to be successful in this industry on the job. And you can make well into a six figure salary as you move up in your career. There's just a lot of opportunity in this industry. And again, it doesn't take a lot to really get into it. So pro number five, you'll meet some pretty awesome people in this industry. The construction industry is far reaching, a lot more far reaching than what meets the eye, or at least it was to me. I've had access to people just by being in the construction industry that I never thought I would have access to. So you not only have like the realm of construction where you have your project team, your subcontractors, your designers, your engineers, your owners and developers, you also get to interact with like bankers, real estate developers, and even politicians. And as you really get into like the high profile jobs, you get to meet some pretty important people. I even got to go out of state and out of the country to do things for my project. And then when you realize how far reaching construction is, you kind of understand, or maybe some people still don't understand, why construction was deemed an essential business during this pandemic. Like I was so fortunate to have kept my job, but by keeping construction as an essential business, so many jobs were maintained. You not only have your construction workers, but all the suppliers, you know, all the people at Home Depot that got to work because of construction, and even like a lot of hotels in the Waikiki area did a lot of renovations because they didn't have people occupying the spaces. We are essential. And even if you start in the construction industry and you don't like it, just the vast amount of people that you'll be exposed to on your one project that you do, it'll help open up so many other career opportunities that you probably didn't even know existed. So as you can see, you can make a lot of connections by just being in the construction industry. And number six, the bonus one that I just couldn't leave out is that being in construction, you get to build something that lasts, hopefully. Whether you're building a building, bridge, or road, the result of your efforts are so tangible. You can literally like touch the thing that you made and it'll stand for years. So like every time I pass by one of the buildings I've worked on, there's always some sort of story that goes along with it. And when, whenever you pass by, you get that awesome feeling of all the effort and time that you put into that project to try to make it as successful as it could be. And that to me is one of, if not the coolest thing about construction. I'm very excited for the day if I have kids where I can take them around Hawaii and show them all the different buildings that dad made and all the stories that go along with it. I'm sure they're gonna love it. Well, those are my top pros of construction. As you can probably tell by my giddy demeanor, I truly love being in this industry. I really love my job. And I just wanna bring awareness to this industry for anyone else out there that didn't really know this job existed. I really appreciate all the comments and questions and DMs from all of you guys. It really makes me feel happy that I'm helping somebody else out there. And if you have any further questions, feel free to comment below. I'll be sure to reply to you. And as always, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can join our growing family here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time and I'll see you on the next video.